So a few months back, I broke the knife blade on my Leatherman Wave at work. I was cutting through a thick rubber hose, and I just snapped it right off. Now, this knife blade has been sharpened multiple times. I mean, it's, it's really taken some use over the years. I pretty much use this thing every single day at home and at work. I like to carry it with me everywhere, and it's been uh, a little bit of an adjustment not having it uh, as I've, I've just left it the way it, uh, it is here with uh, the, the blade uh, opened up here uh, this whole time. I've finally gotten around to contacting Leatherman about uh, re replacing it, or I should say repairing it under warranty. I don't want it replaced, and that was my biggest concern. That's part of the reason I just kind of uh, didn't do anything for a while is because what I heard was that Leatherman just replaces them, and they won't send you parts so you can take it apart and repair it yourself. You have to send it in, and they're just going to replace it. So I was kind of on the fence because I was given this as a gift by my wife, and I don't want to lose it. I mean, I know I take a risk losing it every single day. I take it to work and, and uh, use it, but uh, it, it is sentimental to me. Well, I come to find out that uh, in contacting Leatherman, they actually will repair a tool and send that original back to you if you consider it sentimental. You actually, uh, there, there's a warranty form that you go uh, fill out online. It's very simple. It's, it's easy to fill out. And there is actually a box that you can check there that says, this tool is sentimental, I want it back. Because I can tell you that um, the labor and parts to repair this is probably more than simply just pulling one out of the warehouse and shipping me a new one. Uh, so that's nice that they have that program. Now, this thing is, is um, uh, you know, it's used, it's... Uh, you could tell it, it's used, but it's it's still in great shape. But if they were to replace it uh, versus repair it, I may not know because I may just simply assume that they took the whole thing apart and cleaned everything on it. So what I did was I took the file here. Let's see if I can uh, open it up. The file, which it, it's kind of filthy because I don't use it very often, but they could simply clean that up. I just, uh, I, I took a scribe and I etched a little bit there. So I want to see if that mark is still there or if they uh, even clean the other uh, parts of this. There is another piece that is uh, broken uh, on here and I, I noted that. So uh, it's a little pin. I don't, I'm not sure if it's a miniature screwdriver, like a eyeglass type screwdriver or some sort of pin, but uh, it's a small little pin. And I broke that off years ago, and I just said, well, I rarely use it. I don't even care. But this knife blade is, is something I use every single day. So I'm going to ship this off to Portland. They uh, sent me a uh, an email with a form that I had to print. There's a barcode on here, and it does say, this is sentimental. I want it back. So I'm going to ship it to Portland at my expense. I'm going to UPS it out today, and I'll let you know if I got the original back and what condition it's in. I'll also let you know how long this took to process. Simply going to take some tape here. Tape the blade. I'll be taking it to UPS. So hopefully the next thing you see is me opening up a box with my Leatherman back good as new. I told you I'd be back. So I shipped out my Leatherman via UPS to Portland on February 24th. Today is March 22nd and it just arrived via the US mail in this padded pack. I just cut it open before turning on the camera with my buck knife that I've been carrying around to work every day in place of my multi-tool. So let's just see. All right, no packing list or anything else like that. It looks like the tape that I put on there, they left on there. That's kind of weird. They just cut through that tape. So, I guess the tape right there alone kind of tells you that this is the tool that I shipped them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the file. Probably can't, it's not going to show up on camera. Yeah, I had to get a magnifying glass. You're not going to see it, but if under a magnifying glass, I can see the figure eight that I put in there with a, a scribe. So this is the original tool back. So the main reason I sent it, 
the knife blade. And you can see right there, that is a brand new knife blade. Now, let's see. Everything on it is nice and tight, too. It was a little bit loose, but just unfolding it like this, it's nice and tight. And with the power of editing, I can add this in after the fact, right in the middle of the video. So, something I noticed was that in addition to replacing the knife blade that was broken, it looks like they replaced the serrated blade, which had very little use on it. I just kind of kept that in reserve. I, I, I rarely have use for a serrated blade, but with me always using this blade and abusing this blade, I wanted to have one good blade in reserve. This sure as heck looks new, and I'm, I'm really surprised that they did that. In addition, it uh, looks like they replaced the screwdriver bit. This is new. I mean, I use this thing more than any other part of the multi-tool, and this doesn't have any marks on it. This all looks new. So they, they replaced that with new, even though I didn't have that in the request form. Now, I checked a few other things. I mean, obviously, uh, the uh, file isn't new. Something that I did break right off the get-go was this small screwdriver. I never really knew it was a screwdriver. I thought it was a pin, and I don't ever remember it coming out. So it's uh, a small flathead and a small Phillips screwdriver. This is all new right here. So it's kind of nice that they went uh, the extra mile there and, and uh, replaced additional parts of this Leatherman. Scissors, those are original. That's still got some, uh, some tape on there from uh, using it to cut something. So they didn't replace every single piece and I didn't expect them to. But I thought I'd go ahead and just splice that into the video to show you that uh, they, they replaced a, a few extra things, more so than the blade. Now on to the rest of the video. Everything's there. I'm pretty happy. A month went by. Uh, I can't remember what I paid to UPS it, but I think it was under $10. And they sent me back my original tool, which has sentimental value. So if you have a Leatherman multi-tool, and if it's sentimental to you, you can send it in for return. You'll get it back in a reasonable amount of time. Just simply follow the instructions on their website, print up your form, ship it out, and I think you'll be just as satisfied as I am. Now I can take this to work today. Thanks for watching.